Ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at the dollar versus Canada. Uh, this currency pair has uh, seen uh, sharp rises uh, to the upside over the last uh, few trading days. Uh, we had uh, prices of oil move lower, which uh, helped to uh, weaken the uh, Canadian dollar. Also, we're seeing U.S. interest rates move higher, which is helping to support the U.S. dollar. Uh, that's probably the biggest thing here. Uh, uh, if we take a look at the hourly chart, uh, the move to the upside uh, has been able to get above this uh, swing area through here. This was a swing area ahead of this extreme right here. We reestablished the level right through here uh, of this uh, area, and uh, that uh, led to the sharp move to the downside. Oftentimes, you see a ceiling then be broken, and then it fails, and then reestablishes the ceiling before moving lower, and that's what we did way back here. Uh, on the uh, move to the upside in trading yesterday, we moved up toward that swing area here and found some consolidation, and in trading here today, we based against the level and moved higher. Uh, with the overall dollar buying uh, we did uh, see a rotation back to the downside uh, here or, uh, you know with the boj or the lack of intervention or the thoughts of intervention uh, the uh, dollar uh, moved down but we did hold above this uh, swing area here between the 136.69 136.76 area and that's this area is going to be our level of uh, significance going forward as long as the price remains above it the bias remains more to the upside uh, from this view uh, in the dollar versus uh, Canada uh, a little clue may also come near the 136 93 94 area where the which was this high going back to uh, September 7th uh, and uh, so if we move below that level move below this level then it opens the door for further uh, potential selling pressure on the failed break. Now let's take a longer term view of the daily chart and see where we stand in this in this respect. And if we look at this, uh, this uh, I have a lot large swatch here uh, where the market uh, formed a ceiling through here. Uh, that ceiling uh, level uh, stalled the stalled the rise over a whole uh, month and a few weeks here before moving to the downside here. Uh, we moved back up to that level, found some sellers here and here before breaking to the upside and then trying to hold support against this level through here, but uh, could not uh, do that and ultimately moved a lower through here. And then we re returned to it in the uh, month of April through here and then in the month of May through here. And uh, it was uh, last month uh, in September where the price did move back into that area and again found sellers here in trading here today what did we do we broke above that area that should have been more bullish 137.04 is where that level comes in we are just above that level at 137.9 currently at the moment so uh, markets trying to hold support against that uh, or, or or move back above that level in trading here today if it could stay above that level that keeps the buyers more in control on this this from this perspective as well so uh the you know the daily chart 137.04 uh is a uh, short-term support on the hourly chart uh we have uh the uh, 136.94 we can go down to 136.94 we can go down to 136.69 to 76 uh and still remain more bullish so uh, keep those levels in mind those are the support levels we'll see if the price price action can keep the bulls firmly in control in the dollar versus canada uh, so there you have it. A look at that uh, currency pair from a short and longer term perspective. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.